Brandon Halls here. I'm coming to you in the darkness for in this time we're surrounded by darkness. There's very little light. Where people are no longer falling to their knees. They are no longer seeking out I am. The spirit has been poured out. People no longer look to him. They no longer ask him anything. It is as if they have forgotten him already. Which makes a perfect, a perfect time for another to step in and take over. For we are in that time where there are many antichrists. Therefore we know that it is that time. I would say they have all I would say that they would fall away, but they've already fell away. I would say that they'll see the signs but they don't look for them. I would say that they'll bend the knee, but most won't even bend the knee to pick up something more or less to humble themselves before God. Now people think I'm angry. I'm not angry. I'm in pain. I'm in pain because this is the last time. I'm in pain because people, people don't see what I'm seeing. I see signs and everything. I had a vision when I was 17 years old. This is a vision that I'm still trying to remember. I know that all things will be revealed through the Holy Spirit. And if you keep your ears on, and I mean, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see, then you can hear the Spirit in this time. For it is speaking. And not only will it speak words, you know, as in that voice in the back of your head. That some people said, it's God and the devil. It is. It is Christ and the Antichrist spirit. They're duking it out every day. They're duking it out for our souls. So what I would ask of people is to pray. If you hadn't accepted him, accept him as Lord and Savior. Ask him to come into your heart, to fill you with the Holy Spirit, and then ask for forgiveness. I would also ask that you pray over your land. You pray over it for protection. You pray over your homes for protection. To keep out any evil spirits or anything unclean. Pray over objects that you're going to wear. Pray that the Holy Spirit surrounds them objects. And that anyone wears them. That it will protect them through the Spirit. Pray, if you have any reason to pray, if someone is sick in your family, bend your knee and pray. If you have needs in your life, bend your knee and pray. If you just need someone to talk to, bend your knee and pray. Pray to Yeshua, who is Jesus. Talk to I Am who is God never ever ever forget that he paid the ultimate price that he died for our sins and through his blood we are made clean and clean we are for if you've accepted him and you have asked for forgiveness then you are washed clean you are free of sin and you can not enter into the kingdom for no flesh will enter in None, for our flesh is full of sin. We have all sinned, every one of us. We all fall short of the glory of God. But remember that this Antichrist, he will have all power, signs, and lying wonders. And if you have no love for the truth, you will believe the lie. 
so love the truth. God is the truth. The lie is the devil, the Antichrist. Now this strong delusion, it's the real deal. It is the real deal, and God did send it. And I think that he sent it to wake up his people, hence the Mandela effect. There is things changing. Monopoly man, he had an eyepiece. He, yes, in Star Wars he did say, Luke, I am your father. And in Silence of the Lambs he did say, hello, Clarice. Now, I'm not real good at impersonations, but he did. There's many things that have changed. But what do we do? We remain in the darkness. We remain in the darkness. We bury our head in the sand. And in doing so, we do not see the light that is I am. If you seek the light, come out of the darkness. Come out of the darkness and shine your light. Shine your light upon anyone that will allow you to shine your light upon them. Shine it upon them, give testimony, bear witness, and show the love that Yeshua showed to us. For he gave all so that we might have salvation. Our Father sent his only begotten Son so that we might have everlasting life. So I ask you, brothers and sisters, come out of the darkness, step into the light. Step into the light with me and let people know that the Holy Spirit has been poured out, the Spirit is abound, that there are signs in everything, that you can hear it, you can hear the Spirit, you can see the Spirit, you can feel the Spirit if you allow it to instruct you. For we are receiving instruction every single day our Father is trying to give God's people a chance to come to Him one last time by pouring out the Holy Spirit. So I'll ask one more time, come out of the darkness and into the light. And at that moment, a car comes around the corner. That is a sign. As I say, come out of the darkness and come into the light, a car comes around the corner. That is an example of confirmation. Seek confirmation and you will receive it. I ask this with love in my heart. I ask this with a man who is struggling to come out of the darkness and come into the light. That you would pray for me. That you would show me love as he showed us. And as I show him. So pray for me. For I can always receive prayer. Love thy neighbor as you love thyself. And remember above all. God is great. He cannot be destroyed. He is everlasting. He is the first. He is the last. He is Alpha Omega. The beginning and the end. And he is timeless. For man is of time. We will die. But I am is timeless. If you seek to be timeless and you seek everlasting life, seek Yeshua. Ask him for forgiveness of sin and he will ask the Father and the Father will allow you to enter into the kingdom. But you cannot deny him. For if you deny him, if you deny Yeshua, then Yeshua cannot ask his Father to allow you in. So you have to shine your light. You have to be a light in the darkness. You have to be a beacon to anyone that cannot find their way. For we are supposed to make disciples. We are supposed to show others the way. The way and the light. This is Brandon Halls here. And I hope that you receive my message with an open heart. With an open mind. And continue to watch my channel even though no one seems to watch it anymore. I continue to make videos and I will not stop. I love you all. Trust your memories. And once again, come out of the darkness and shine your light.